Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing well. So I'm recording this video uh, to talk about the ILI. This is a Socionics ILI type description. So yeah, I'm hoping that this you can use this video to identify if you or somebody you know is an ILI and I'm giving you guys his advice as an ILI myself. All right, so without further ado, let's just jump right down into it. So let's start with a broad brush overview of the ILI. There's a keyword that you need to think about when thinking about the ILI. And that keyword is transformation. A secondary keyword would be evolution. So overall, the ILI is a type of person who is primarily concerned with the evolution slash transformation of events and how one event leads to another. Furthermore, they're also concerned with the transformation of themselves. See, an ally is one of those types of people who is constantly looking to transform themselves and make sure that the future version of themselves is in alignment with how they foresee themselves needing to be based on whatever future circumstances they see in the future. Okay, this is a very, very future oriented type. It's all about what is going, what will happen in the distant future. What is the end outcome that is most meaningful and significant? All right. And what process can they develop in order to facilitate that outcome? Um, another thing about ILIs that you'll understand very quick when you're around them is they don't do things for the sake of doing. They don't act for the sake of acting. The ally is not a type that's going to have their wheels spinning around for the sake of it. Okay. And lastly, I would say that the ILI is a type that is very concerned with the realization of their own potential. Look for somebody who is, despite not being the most gregarious of types, I mean, far from it, they're still quite ambitious and extremely so. And they're constantly looking for ways that they can improve themselves. They're occupied with the concept of self-mastery, seeing how they can develop themselves and take a next step forward in their growth or development. Look for somebody who likes to challenge themselves, in most cases, cognitively, all right? Testing their cognitive capabilities. You will find, look for somebody who is often in programs, but not for their own sake. There's usually a very deliberate purpose or reason for why they're in that program to begin with. Okay. Now, don't get them confused for the LIE. That's their ENTJ. And I don't think you will, because despite ENTJs leading with TE and not being as sociable as in a common extrovert, they are still far more out there than the LIE, than the ILI, let's just say. All right. So those are some of the key things to look for, all right? The philosophy that everything in life is evolving, adapting, and changing. The concern with the realization of their potential, and therefore that being concerned with self-mastery. And overall skepticism as well, okay? Now let's talk about the IMEs, or the functions, the leading function and the IME that they lead with, which is NI. So NI is known as the intuition of time, all right? Now what that does for an ILI is that it gives them a sort of freedom from worldly affairs, from the things that are happening in the concrete, central world. All right, having NI base allows the ILI to traver freely traverse the time axis. What this basically means, essentially, is that you have the present moment right here, and the ILI can go forwards or backwards in time, really, in their mind. They can go back in time and visualize and create a simulation of things that have happened in the past by reading a history book and then imagining vividly how things were, how, mu how they must have been, and how the past created the present reality that everyone lives in today and how that's going to lead to a new future tomorrow. Again, a very future-focused type, but also capable of going back and re learning about the past and history. 
having an eye base makes you also reflect on your past as well. But with the specific purpose of extracting a sort of lesson, a concept learned from the from an experience, and you can take and to take that concept and propel the ally forward into the future. This is uh, yeah. You could, I would say this is basically a hallmark of an ally. Okay. Um, look for somebody with a lot of foresight. Allies will, are going to be born with foresight. And this foresight is going to show itself at an early age. And when I mean early age, I mean from the ages of 7 to 12 years old or something like that. Right, that young. I know as an ally myself, that definitely was the case. And people will come to me and be like, older people will come to me and be like, how did you know this was going to happen? How did you know that? And stuff like this, right? Allies are born with natural innate foresight. And that's their primary strength, is the ability to see what will happen. And that's, and this is just a little side note here. NI is not about what you want to happen, what ought to happen, what you would like to see, it's about what will happen. It's 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 an it's all about inevitability, where things are headed. Okay. So yeah. Um. Another thing about ni. So because ni is in leading function, and the leading function is the way that the types like to assert themselves, the ili likes to assert themselves through ni. Now before I talk about how they assert themselves through ni, let me make take. Add another side note here, which is this. You may think that ILIs, due to FE polar and being introverted, are not ambitious type, but that is actually false. When you're interacting with an ILI in real life and you want to know if the person you're interacting with, with, with is an ILI, in fact, what you're going to end up finding out is that although from far they may not display a lot of ambition at least in the superficial sense that we understand it uh this is a type which is actually incredibly ambitious almost insanely so this is a type which is which is which enjoys asserting themselves if we're being honest right but then again all the types do like so we all know how sc type base inserts itself I'm the big boss. I'm, 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 I have the most force. We all know how TE base asserts itself. I'm the most efficient, effective person. And I base asserts itself through its insights. Allies assert themselves and, and seek to be the person people come to for consultation and advice. They, they seek to plunge deep into a field of study, an area of expertise, and have absolute total mastery over that field, which uh, which no one else can deny them in, right? They're, they're, that's how NI hero, and if you're coming from an MBTI sense, right, which is NI base in socionics, that's how they assert themselves, is through having a sense of superior insight, right and um what else is there i want to talk about what else can i talk about and i superior insights superior vision of what will happen being able to align yourself with that vision another thing right is skepticism okay so here's what differentiates the ili from the iei is that the ili when they're speculating or when their their prognosis of what's going to happen it's usually pessimistic it's usually it, it it consists of telling you what not to do what plans are stupid what's going to fail don't do this it will lead to disaster don't do this you're going to fail at this now you have to keep in mind though the ally doesn't never does this because they're being assholes that's not that's never really the intention the allies do this because from the allies' perspective, if you can solve a problem before it arises, then you'll never have to deal with that problem. That's the thinking, at least, all right? So sometimes that's the case, sometimes that's not the case, but yeah. For example, 
Now, I strongly believe that Siddhartha Gautama is an ally. And what was his first rule? Life is suffering, which is a very pessimistic and cynical way to look at things, right? But the thing about looking at life as a source of suffering is that when you are not suffering, you are then pleasantly surprised. I knew a uh, lecturer of mine who was an ally, and he said that it's always best to be cynical and pessimistic about how things are so that when they don't turn out to be that way, you're pleasantly surprised and you have something to be happy about, which is a very ILI thing to say. Yeah, there's a lot of skepticism and pessimism associated with an ILI. So look for somebody who is, for the most part, reserved, like they're introverted, but they're insanely ambitious, but they're also extremely pessimistic and cynical, all right? They're, they're, they can be a buzzkill sometimes. But it's precisely this pessimism that works so well for ILIs and why so many ILIs tend to be very successful people is because they don't spin their wheels for no reason. They ensure that whatever activity they engage in, they're going to, well, I don't want to say get something out of it, but that the effort that they put in won't go to waste. All right, the ILI is not the type to act, to do things. This is primarily because of SE Suggestive. Now, sometimes it's done so from the perspective of, okay, they have analysis paralysis, they can't get up and move or do anything. That can be the case, but in most cases, it's not really due to an inability to take action, but it's more an unwillingness to take action because of, uh, how can I say, being parsimonious with the resources now when i say resources i don't just mean money i mean time energy contacts like favors like an ili will say hmm here's this thing that i need to do but i need that f call in a favor i don't want to call in that favor i don't want to deplete that resource now so let me just wait a little bit and see if i need to do it or not and yeah they're very reluctant to expend resources whether it be energy, money, time, whatever. And that is what I personally think is the cause of the quote-unquote inaction. It's like, I'm not going to act until I know this is the right time to act. And they look for that window of opportunity to pounce. All right. So, yeah. And this, for the most part, actually works for the ally. For the most part, it works for them, and that's how they're able to obtain success. Not necessarily by acquiring a lot, but by making sure that they don't unnecessarily lose things that they didn't need to lose, if that makes sense. So, I talked about NI, let's talk about TE. T. Now, the thing about allies and TE is that this. When it comes to an allies productivity and efficiency, right? Well, first thing I should say is that it's a creative function, therefore it's collaborative in nature. And ILI primarily uses TE to implement their NI insights. They want to make sure that their NI understanding of events and the dynamic flow of how things go is being realized in a practical sense. Now, one thing I should have actually said about NI is when I say that, ILIs use NI and they feel about dynamic evolution and transformation. ILIs are all about understanding for the for the ILI, everything that they see is in constant change. Nothing stays the same. Alright, they themselves are the world around them. Companies start, they grow, they decline, they either die or they transform into something else. And the transformation of this one object, which is a company, lead influences and affects other objects. And it's entangled and intertwined with their transformative processes as well. It's a very dynamic worldview where everything is transforming, changing, and adapting. Now, TE, because TE is in the creative slot, which is known as the f implementation function, which seeks to implement the information accepted by the, by the base, ILIs are seeking to take these transformative processes 
and direct them towards practical means. So an NI base has an insight. This is the way things are. Now let's work with TE to make things practical to at least, uh, how can I explain? To either practically manifest these things that the NI sees or manifest, I use the word manifest, but it's more like support. Okay. And that's the key word here is, is support because the creative function is all about lending support to the leading, but also lending support to other people. All right. The ILI uses TE as their primary means of making contact with other people. So what you'll find if, if, if you, there's somebody you want to know if they're an ILI or not, look at, are they trying to support you themselves and the people around them by getting things practically done and accomplished and making things work? Is that how they help and support you? If yes, they're probably an ILI because ILIs don't help and support through FE, through FI or whatever. They support you by getting things done for you and making things work for you in a practical sense. Okay. Now, the ILI's productivity really is interesting. Really is interesting because they don't exist in the middle. The ILI is either going to be the most productive person you know or the least productive person you know. Why? Because the ILI's um, fit, right, for the occupation or whatever is extremely selective. What that basically means is that it's, it's really hard for an ILI to find an occupation or some sort of work that is meaningful. And the thing is, is that ILI's T only activates when they're engaged in something that is meaningful or that is a good fit for them. They, it's, it's never on for its own sake, like with the LIE or even the SEE with TE lead or TE mobilizing. It's never on for its own sake. It only switches on once the ILI has found something meaningful. Something that is a, like an occupation that's a good fit. So when... So, okay. So what does this look like? What is the positive and the negative? When an ILI has found the right job for them, the right occupation or, or, or some work that is meaningful to them, and in an NI sense, because remember, allies are leading with NI first and foremost, and NI is all about what is most meaningful to the individual on a personal level. All right. The ally is probably one of the most productive people you'll ever meet. They, they work with fantastic productivity. And it's unusual because that's where they have a lot of energy. You would think that ILIs are low energy, and in, in a lot of ways they are. But when engaged with work that is meaningful to them and the, and the right occupation, they are the most productive people you'll meet. And they work with a fantastic amount of energy in that thing, right? Now let's take a look at the other side. What happens when the ILI is, has not found that right occupation? Well... That's where you get the ILI that is, uh, for lack of a better word, basically a bum. All right. Or, or someone, because when, the, so what happens is when the ILI has not found the right occupation, that's where their skepticism and pessimism takes the best uh, turns against them. All right. They start to ask themselves, well, what's the point of this? Why am I doing this? Where is it going to lead to? It's almost like a state of being hopeless. And then they can't even bring themselves up to accomplish the bare minimum needed for their tasks. And this is terrible because it leads them to being laid off at work or dropping off, dropping out of school. They're not even able to meet the bare minimums, right? So that's why I find that allies are very interesting when it comes to TE because they can either... They only exist on the extremes when it comes to it. They're either the most productive or least productive. And that TE is never just on for its own sake. It's never switched on for its own sake. It's only ever switched on once meaningful work has been found. So yeah, 
what else can I say about TE? I think that's it. All right, there's, I mean, there's, TE works with TI as well, sure. But yeah, so look, I'm not going to describe all the functions. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to overwhelm you with information. And if you're watching this video, chances are you want to find out your type or somebody else's type. I'm trying to verify or trying to type yourself using, using all eight functions and then comparing that to other types and their age functions, it's going to overload you with information, which is going to cause more confusion, which you don't need. You really don't. You don't need that much information to find somebody's type. It's me talking about NI and TE is more than enough. All right. The information I gave is more than enough to know if you are an ILI or not, or if somebody else is or not. Okay. And yeah, so that's about it. I'm going to stop the video right here. If you have any comments or anything like that, please let me know. I mean, just drop a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Any questions you have, ask them. I'll try my best to answer. And yeah, anyways, guys, peace out.